Okay, I just ran back upstairs. I had to get another charger. I did go to see or Rite Aid yesterday, um, and I picked up a couple things randomly. So I thought I would show you guys because they all look promising. So I'm gonna use these in my video I'm about to film, which I need to hurry up and film because I have a meeting in an hour. This is the Maybelline Gloss. It's a lifter gloss. It has hyaluronic acid. Don't these colors look so pretty? So I got that. I got a color amber and reef. I got this nail polish. So pretty for fall. A couple of the other things I got. I ended up getting this CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Concealer because I do love the foundation as well as their 24 hour matte lipstick. This is in the shade Stay With Me. And then I grabbed this Rimmel Highlight. I saw this and I was like, wow, that's so pretty. This isn't necessarily the tone I would go for. It's kind of like rose goldish, but um, it looked really buttery and pretty. Yeah, it's super gold. That's probably too dark for me, but that is so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and get this video filmed. I'm gonna hop on a meeting. I made my smoothie, I already had that. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna Turn everything on. I've got the lights on. They've been on for a minute now. And we're going to get right into it. My hold up right now is I can hear the air compressor. And I know you'll be able to hear it in the video. So I'm just waiting. And then I need to film an IGTV on a Sephora haul that I did. And then I have my meeting in between those. So I'm going to do this. Have my meeting. Film my Sephora haul. I need to do my email for my weekly recap. Because I'm already behind. I also... Um, put out a personal assistant um, thing on my Instagram. I have a ton of emails to get through. I need an assistant for my emails. <laughs> and then I have another post I need to do. I need to take a picture for a sponsored post. And then I think all my videos are done that have needed to be done, like sponsored wise. Um, it has been a hectic last few months. What really happened and what really threw us off is remember when, I don't know if you guys remember if you follow me on Instagram, but um, Mason and I, we were like super sick with like belly stuff and like it was when he first started going to school and like you know how when kids go to school they start getting all these different things and it just kind of cycled through the house. So basically we had like a month of like having to push everything back. We were just sick and just not feeling well. It wasn't what was going around. I can't say it on YouTube. Yeah, it wasn't that. It was just like the cycle of just like literally everything kids can have. I'm, we had some virus too that like made us throw up. It was a 24 hour thing. It was terrible. Um, it was just a lot, but that completely like pushed back so much stuff. Uh, and I have still been trying to catch up. And then the weekends are like the weekends. So try to enjoy myself on the weekends and like not worry about work, but that's definitely difficult. So I need to get back to some of my text messages. I need to buy inventory. I got a lot to do, you know? Is this thing ever gonna stop? <laughs> I'm just like, oh my gosh. Again, this is that Lancome Concealer. This is a great concealer. It's full coverage, it's hydrating. Okay, so I just <laughs> put this together. I'm laughing because I'm just thinking about Davis when he gets home. I just put this together quickly. I think it's cute. I saw, so I have like a different base coming in for this stuff and I just kind of wanted to see, I should definitely cut the length of them. Like get some wire cutters and cut them. 
I have like a stone vase coming in for these. I think they're gonna be so pretty. I saw it on Pottery Barn, but I got the pumpkins from Home Goods. Home Goods, Home Goods, Target, Home Goods, Pottery Barn. Those are from Party Barn from a few years ago. The little wood candles. I think it's so cute. I saw these little tree limbs and I was like, that would look so pretty with everything else in the formal because I thought the yellow would be a really pretty pop in the formal because everything's like a light brown neutral. And I thought it was just so cute. I still need to figure this out. <laughs> I need to figure this out. I ended up just throwing some stuff up here. I have random stuff. I bought this today. It smells so good. These guys are so messy. That's what's all over here, all over the floor. But I need to figure out how I wanna decorate this little area. I've kinda left this space blank. But we did get our wedding picture professionally framed that's our painting actually you guys probably remember we had this painting done and we are obsessed so glad we did it what you doing we're out here davis just went inside but we're cleaning out the garage mason's just playing he's still in his pjs because it was pj day at school so he's just living his best life <laughs> <laughs> Good job. You did it. <laughs> Lift your legs up. Wee! Was that so fun? Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Nice. Go do it again if you want to do it again. Yeah. Okay. Fixed this up this weekend and I love it. It was just a mess for so long. And I was like, okay, I have to figure something out. We have to make this this work. Cause I was so tired of looking at it in like this really pretty room and this was just a disaster. So we had a lot of this stuff. I've had these vases for years. Um, I used to have them in the backgrounds of my videos years and years ago. So I ended up putting what I had left over from Pottery Barn in them. Um, and then we have like this picture, these books are really cute. I can't remember the exact seller I got these from. I'm gonna try to figure it out though um, and link her below, but I've had these for a couple years now. This is Target. Davis has to have this here. Um, this is a buffalo that we got in Montana. We love him, he's so cute. I mean, the detail of this is just fantastic. We love little things like this. Anywho, and it works out because like they're kind of the same height now that I put that on top of the books or whatever, it just works. This candle is from Target, it smells delicious. I have just this picture, hearth and hand. Th don't get this, this is, this is not worth it. Just get the candle, this doesn't like smell up the room that well. Hello, hello, hello my little helpers. So, we're in the mat, or the Jack and Jill. That's the little area holding us back. This is just such a beautiful tile. I'm obsessed with it, and when all this is like painted, it's gonna look so good, but there, oh my gosh, it looks so good. Like, I can't believe, like, the mirror that I picked out too is so pretty because you are gonna mount it on the sides and it's able to be like, moved up and down so it's gonna have like a little bit of an angle to it and then the lights I have are gonna be so pretty I think I love this tile I actually really like the color too um, and then like I said with paint and everything this is just gonna be such an awesome bathroom but we're getting new doors for this I want to go through this and see what I can kind of get rid of um, we've got a lot of stuff in here so some of this just doesn't need to be here, so I'm gonna kinda organize and get it all situated today.
I came in here, I cleaned up quite a bit. It doesn't look like it, but I did. <laughs> Hung up a bunch of stuff that I can try on. I have a lot of really cute Rosie Days items to share, but I'm waiting on another package to kind of really compile it all and like do a few things with everything. Um, cutest graphic tees perfect for transition to fall like even these two so cute I was gonna make the bed but I just realized I don't have a mattress protector I thought I did and I don't have one so I need to buy a queen mattress protector and then I will put this all together but this is a brand new mattress <laughs> I've mentioned before I'm I'm super big into having mattress protectors I've always had one on our one downstairs and I just will not go without one so I'm going to get another one for this guy before I make the bed because who wants to make it and then unmake it and then remake it not me Hey guys, I've been the worst vlogger today. <laughs> I got ready, was doing my stuff, and time literally got away from me. But um, I figured I'd show you what I'm wearing. It's really not like fashion, but uh, it's comfortable. And if you're interested, I will link it for you. Um, it's really affordable. So the sweatpants are like 20 bucks. I think this tee is probably less than 10 or something. I don't know. Very soft thermal, um, soft sweats. Then I have a pair of higher top golden goose on. I'm about to go pick up Mason. And then I'm going to see what Davis's plan is because he's actually taking a scuba diving class. And that's taking up like his entire week. So we're going to see if I should wait for him to go grab the fall tubs or if I should just take the time to go get the fall tubs out of the garage. So we'll see. But I want to get those dang fall tubs. Go through them and see what we got. I also need to show you Little Miss Things bag carefully because it has her name on things. Um, but here's a, here's a 31 week belly update. About to be 31 weeks, I guess. This is really not a good way to show you. I'll have to show you another time when I'm wearing a tight dress. Yeah? You gonna go get a read? You're not gonna get a read? Okay, got it. You gonna hit it in the hole? Good job. Hey, did you have fun at school? Yeah. You did? Did you play a lot? Yeah, we played. Really? Did you play with your friends? Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Did you go outside? Yeah, we had fun. Yeah? Did you tell them how much you like golf? Bye-bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> you getting a read? Are you getting a read? Yeah. Okay, got it. All right. So we know where it's going. It's okay. <laughs> Good job. I five. <laughs> Yay. All right. So I want to show you guys. I got um, this area organized. Over the weekend, might not look organized, but it's as organized as it's gonna get right now. Um, this is the little caddy that I got for uh, this thing from Amazon, and I do like it, but my wipe warmer doesn't really fit in it. So I'm gonna see if Davis can like glue some wood like in here and like have it a little bit raised. That way it just like sinks into here. Does that make sense? It doesn't fall over, but if you just have regular wipes, I mean, they would work perfectly right here. But I do have a wipe warmer that I prefer. And then you literally just put in the diapers here, pull from here, and then you could have like lotions and whatever else you wanted up there. The only thing is just the wipe warmer, but this dock tot's not staying here. I mean, it's going to be downstairs, but it's not staying up here. I'm going to bring Mason's from upstairs down here, the little changing pad because we don't use his anymore. And um, yeah, I just got this in too. Isn't that so cute? I got this in from Etsy. So I need to put this in that suitcase, which I'm about to show you guys a little bit of what's in there. I have things organized. So here's her newborn stuff. I don't have like a ton of stuff, but this is zero to three. We definitely have the most of zero to three. Older sizes. 
This is sleep sacks, burp cloths, um, bibs, things like that. In this one, we have washcloths, a toy. I have just like little other things. I have a bath towel in there for her. This is a passy uh, clip with her name on it. And then in here, I have mittens, hats, bows. It's just kind of a catch-all, but... For the most part, these are all the clothes I have for her. I don't, I didn't really order a ton of stuff. I do have a few more things coming in after I had organized all this. I realized like I should probably get a couple more things. They're coming in, but um, I'm pretty happy with the zero to three month. We have quite a bit and then we'll just kind of buy as we go too. I've also been waiting for more fall stuff to come out. These are all um, like footed onesies, pants, like little pajama, not little pajama onesies, but little onesies like that. And then I got this for free at my 3D ultrasound, which was super nice. It comes with like little bits of formula. This is like a nice little bag with like insulation in it. I don't know. It was free and it was nice. So I was like, I'll take that. Got the Freedom Mom. You guys saw this in one of my last vlogs. The only thing I need to get, which I, it's totally mom brain or just me being oblivious. I thought you got the berry bottle. Clearly says sold separately, so I'm gonna have to buy that. But other than that, I think I'm set for myself. I don't even know how I'm gonna tear or if I am gonna tear, so I am crossing my fingers. I don't really have to dive into this, but I figured this is a good kit to have just in case my vagine needs a little help. Then I have the diaper genie. So, this is the suitcase that I have that um, I plan on using for me and baby so I'll kind of show you a little bit of what I have in here for her that is not like that doesn't have her name on it or anything because we've got some name stuff in here for her I do need to take all this out and wash it at some point but I'm gonna be 31 weeks on Friday and I just don't I'm not gonna do it right now I still need to wash everything but I kind of want to just start seeing what I had first that's why I did all of this this weekend I just wanted to see what I had and then um kind of go from there so I'll show you everything so on what my plan is is this side is my side this side is her side so um and this opens up you have a lot of compartments I just have in here for me I have one little set um this is from target super comfortable i love stars above but it's a top and bottom set it's gonna be chilly and um you know i've done this before when i had mason i definitely was not the person to get super dressed up i just i left the hospital in joggers and a top because you're literally going home so that's all i did i don't like i'm not getting dressed up after having a baby i'm sorry it ain't happening one thing i do need to get is like plan out a robe picture thing for her I'm gonna just pack our nice camera and I think Davis and I will kind of go back and forth and maybe I'll bring like a little tripod or something or we'll do like a makeshift thing in the room and have like a Bluetooth remote but um yeah I think I'm just gonna I am gonna have newborn photos after she's here and like we're not in the hospital but for in the hospital there's no telling what the protocols will be too so I'm just gonna pack our camera and call it a day so if you are packing your hospital bag or gearing up to this is my second child I did a reaction video I believe to my first packing video when I was pregnant with Mason and um, I actually need to go watch that again because I don't remember <laughs> what I thought I talked about I literally just packed what I knew like we would need this is a bag with her um name on her uh passy clip and then some bows so i have bows in here i'm gonna have a couple other things like mittens and stuff too if i don't have enough onesies with like the hand covers on them most of them have like the flip cover on them but if not i'm gonna pack a couple in here too but i have like this is the bow that i want to use for her um pictures i hope i don't have lipstick on my teeth I probably do this is like the color scheme I'm doing for her for her first like announcement photos of being here so I got her a swaddle like I have a whole thing she's gonna be a fall baby do you guys realize like this is fall I thrive in fall so I just want to do like fall theme everything <laughs> so I got her this copper pearl swaddle blanket and this is a really pretty color it matches this guy so this will be like on her um little 
changing table thing in the hospital and then I haven't decided exactly what she's going to wear, but I did get this cute little onesie from Amazon. She does have a couple other options, too. I got her these two Lulu and Company knotted gowns, which could also be really cute for her to wear on top of her swaddle blanket or, like, be swaddled in her blanket. My idea was, like, to have this behind her, but we'll we'll see. We'll, we'll feel it out. You know what I mean? And I got to look at Pinterest for a couple different inspo pictures and i'm not good at swaddling i'm not good at swaddling i figured that out with mason so davis is good but me not so much yeah i just thought it was so pretty like i love these like fall tones and everything it's just so cute i'm bringing a few of these swaddles so like i said i'm not good at swaddling so these little wraps are so easy to use you literally just put them in there wrap up their arms in here and then this can unzip, so you can just change them from unzipping this. It's really, really convenient and easy. And then I am so out of breath. Then, oh, I have another one too, right here. And then I have a few pairs of pants. I do have a preemie outfit in here, and I have a regular newborn outfit. I don't have any zero to three months. Mason was really tiny when he came out. He was like just under seven pounds, and... um he could have fit into preemie clothes for sure so i'm thinking with her you know newborn preemie size ish you know she'll be able to get away with at the hospital she probably wouldn't be able to wear preemie much when we got home but right out of the womb she probably could fit into these guys got a couple of those these are footed as well and then i do have a few onesies too these are Magnetic Me onesies. I've mentioned these before in a previous vlog, but they are from Magnetic Me. So it's magneticme.com. They just magnetize together. Like you don't have to button them. You don't have to zipper them. But the one thing that makes these worth the price <laughs> is not just the fact that they're magnet and they are so easy to work with. Like the sizes last so long. Like I used Mason's newborn ones and like zero to three for a while after the suggested like um, age date range <laughs> because they stretch so well so I feel like you really get a good bit of time out of these a lot of use because they're so stretchy very comfortable and they're just great so I I love them I think they're 100% worth the money because I have bought so many of Mason's onesies from there back when he was a baby and they all look really great and they all feel amazing and they're all so easy for him um, to wear but as they get older you might as well get a zipper one you know <laughs> because Mason will just like open it <laughs> at night and have like his chest out and I'm like what are you doing I have her name board had this with Mason I'm happy with her too and I think I'm gonna have Davis help me make the sign for the door I have Mason's sign for the door either I'll have Davis help me make it because I have the Cricut now or I'll just buy it if I don't have time because Mason has one I love it it's still in his closet and I have it where you can see it I did only get one of these little guys <laughs> I say little this isn't little I only have one of these with like the name the date the ounces the inches all of that and with Mason I had multiple <laughs> I, had, I had quite a few to choose from but I learned you just need one and then I do have a couple more onesies in here for her. Like I said, I have some other stuff coming for her as well. This is a newborn size. Uh, another thing to pack too is wipes. I remember that from my video because it was so difficult to change his diaper because they had the wipes where you had to like wet them. The actual wipes at the hospital were dry and you had to run them under water to get them wet. And it was just like a bunch of time. And I was like, this is not it. This is not it. So, um... I'm going to have a couple packs of wet wipes in here or water wipes. I used water wipes with Mason the whole time, and I'm going to do that with her too. And that worked out really well for us, so packing some wipes is good. Hospitals should have diapers, but when it comes to wipes, if they're like that where you have to put them underwater, just save yourself some time and put a pack of wipes in your bag and cover the monogram up. But one of my sweet friends got me this blanket, which is so soft. Feels like Barefoot Dreams. Um, so this will be her baby blanket. I was going to get her a Barefoot Dreams blanket. Mason had a Barefoot Dreams one. Still uses it to this day. It's really great. But the fact that she gave me that, I'm like, 
this is perfect because I've been looking for one and I love that and I actually just ordered some for rosy days too. our kid sizes which I'm gonna get one of those too because it's leopard but it's a dark leopard just stay tuned for that because they're so freaking cute you guys <laughs> I can't even do it. It's like the first kid thing we actually have on the site, but that's all I have packed for now. Like I said, I'll probably, I need to put, um, I'm so out of breath. I need to put uh, water wipes in here and maybe just a couple more onesies just to be on the safe side. And then I do have like a little, um, I probably won't pack that for her. See at the hospital, you don't need much. Cause I'm thinking about like, do I want to pack her little Sherpa onesie thing? That would be pointless because she's not going to be cold when we're there. So, like, we'll have the blankets and everything. She doesn't need that. So, most of the stuff, you know, can wait till we get home. So, you don't need a ton. I could probably honestly fit our stuff into a carry-on, but I'm just going to do this one because I don't know how. But when we got to the hospital with Mason, we had a certain amount. And then when we left, it was like we had ten times more. So, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> but, uh, this medium-sized bag should suffice you feel me that is it that's kind of what's going on she doesn't have like too much stuff right now just because i've been waiting for all the fall things to come out and um i i mentioned before that i'm just trying to shop as i go not so much <laughs> buy in advance like a different mason the one thing we definitely need is diapers and wipes like once we get closer to time i will bulk order those okay guys that is it for today's vlog i hope you enjoyed it Stay tuned for the next one. We have a lot of vlogs coming up, but stay tuned. My hair is a mess. I'm editing this video. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.